Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We usually talk about the work of Muslim charities abroad. This time, we're going to tell you what's happening here at home. Blessed are those who plant hope, grow peace, build bridges, and serve people. This is exactly what Muslim charities are doing across the UK, and the Muslim Charities Forum is proud to share their story. We have conducted research on 450 Muslim organizations working on projects within the UK. On hand to walk you through a snapshot of the research findings is Baroness Saida Warsi, an advocate of grassroots community action and civil engagement. British Muslim-led charities are helping British people in their hour of need. They are an integral and an essential part of British civil society, with beneficiaries from all communities. From the support of vulnerable young people and women, challenging Islamophobia and racism, and aiding those struggling with health-related issues, particularly mental health. Overcoming substantial challenges, with less than 50% having full-time staff or sufficient operational space, they continue to serve our communities. From helplines, counselling, volunteering programmes and educational and leadership training, Muslim-led charities are often the only source of support for countless people in need. 70% of these charities struggle to secure funding for their core costs. They are almost entirely dependent on public donations rather than trusts, foundations or local authorities. And although they raise millions of pounds for domestic projects, more than half of those surveyed operate on an annual income of less than £50,000. Join MCF in celebrating the work of organisations that are actively building bridges of hope. Check out the full report, Mapping Social Action of British Muslims.